Hello there. Talking to the National Farmers Union, the International Trade Secretary Liz Truss said the UK must grasp the opportunity to sell its food and drink across the planet. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back every day. And a big thanks to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. Speaking to the Virtual National Farmers Union Annual Conference, the International Trade Secretary Liz Truss said that she wanted more British food and drink producers taking advantage of new exporting opportunities. And referring to the UK involvement as a member of the EU, she said... The fact is we have been held back for nearly 50 years by an anti-innovation approach that did not serve the interests of British farmers. And she pointed to the 26% tariffs to import beef into the US and 150% tariffs on Scotch whisky imported into India, as well as the UK being held back by product bans. But now we have an opportunity as an independent trading nation to set our own tariffs and to deal with these issues which have held us back. And we are seizing our freedom to deepen our trade worldwide from the Americas to the Asia-Pacific, where fast-growing economies are set to dominate global demand over the coming years. This is where the real opportunities lie for Britain and our farmers. And she mentioned some producers that had already taken advantage of the opportunities offered, from the Foil Food Group to Saputo and Rodder to Wyke Farm. And the message was that it was her job and that of her department to work with DEFRA to get British produce out into the world and identify and break down the barriers. We will work in lockstep with friends and partners like the NFU and AHDB and the Food and Drink Federation to deliver tailored support on the ground for these farmers and food producers, she said. But she also made it clear that UK food standards would not be lowered, saying, I want to be clear, we are not going to lower our food standards in any trade deal we sign. I will never sign a deal that is bad for British farming. She also said that the government will continue working with the European Union to make sure the new export-import processes would work. But she pointed out that, by the end of this decade, 66% of the world's middle-class consumers are expected to be found in Asia, and they are hungry for top-quality food and drink, where they know where that food comes from and how it was produced. And she also said, Our produce is synonymous with quality, which is why farmers proudly put the Union Jack on their pack. And after pointing to the amount of money that farming does and could generate, she said, That is why I say... Now is time to grow your business through exporting now, earning more money to invest in jobs, communities and your future. Isn't it marvellous to hear some positivity during these difficult times? So what do you think about our export potential for food and drink? Please share and comment below. And if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it by following the link in the descriptions box below and support me on Patreon or PayPal. And thank you for watching.